Hello gorgeous and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today's video is going to be all about nails. Now that nail salons are closed and your girl can no longer get her nails done, I have been trying to grow my nails naturally, get them long and strong and I have been growing my nails. They have grown so long. They are probably the strongest it's been in a very long time. So I wanted to share with you kind of like all my tips, tricks and life hacks on how to grow your nails fast and strong and long. So if you guys like this video, thumbs it up, share it. It really helps me out. And yeah, let me know if you have any other requests that you want me to do during this time where we're all stuck in home, unfortunately. Being stuck at home has really helped your girl's nails out, let me tell you that. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just jump right into the video. These are my natural nails and it took about a week to get here. So I know all of us are stuck at home and no nail salons are open. So I wanted to share with you all my tips, tricks, and hacks on how to grow your nails longer, stronger, faster. To start off, I'm going to share with you a quick DIY nail treatment. All you're going to need is a small bowl and then you're going to mix one tablespoon of lemon juice with three tablespoons of olive oil. And then all I did is mix that all together. Once you have your mixture, you're actually going to heat it up for 20 seconds before going ahead and soaking your nails into it for 10 minutes. The vitamin C in lemons really facilitates the healthy growth of nails and lemons also help in removing yellow stains since they act as a bleaching agent. And as well, of course, the olive oil is really great at helping to strengthen your nails while at the same time it is extremely moisturizing and easily absorbed into the skin and nails. So when you do have the mixture on your nails and you sit there for 10 minutes, after you're done doing that, it is really important to also give your nails and the skin around your nails a massage. So going into circular motions, you really want to make sure it is completely absorbed into the skin and this is really going to help your nails grow quicker. And I do like to do this treatment once a week. My number one tip to grow your nails quicker is to moisturize more. Dry hands are a major problem when it comes to maintaining nail strength and health. When it comes to nighttime, I do like to use a thicker oil and I love using castor oil. I've done a whole video on castor oil beauty hacks, which I will link above, but I definitely recommend picking up castor oil because it has so many beauty benefits. I will link anything I do talk about in this video in the description box for you guys to easily go and pick up, but I like to apply castor oil all over the nails and around the skin and just massaging it into the skin in general and put this on before I go to bed. Castor oil's antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial properties will really help to strengthen your nails. We constantly wash our hands over and over and so many of us don't apply lotion. Think about it like this. When we wash our face, we're so used to applying moisturizer as the next step. So you have to think about that with your hands as well, making sure that you are constantly moisturizing your hands. Healthy cuticles mean healthy nails and you have to moisturize around your cuticles as well. Like I said, I do like to apply the castor oil right before I go to bed just because it is a thicker oil and you can go ahead and put gloves on top to really have it soak into your nails and your hands. But during the day, I totally recommend even just carrying around a hand lotion with you. So every time that you wash your hands, you try to also lotion your hands up and keep them from being dry. I just love the little Sephora hand lotion I am sharing with you guys. It's a simple one. It smells really great. It does the job and you can bring it with you on the go anywhere you go. Now that we've done our treatments, it's also just important to take care of your nails and that includes filing and buffing your nails and as well as just not peeling any nail polish you have on your nails or picking your nails. That's really going to affect the health of your nails. But I'm just sharing you a quick little buffer that I have. It looks like it is a file, but it's actually a travel size nail buffer. It came in a little nail care travel kit. You want to make sure that 
that you're exfoliating regularly to really maintain the strength and health of your nails. So with your nail buffer, you want to move in gentle circular motions to really smooth and brighten beds. So you only want to do this once a week, just like we exfoliate our face once a week. And once I use the buffer on my nails, I usually like to go in with a nail file and you can give your nails any shape you want. I totally recommend using a nail file when you want to kind of file down your nails as opposed to going in with the nail clippers because you can actually damage your nails when using the nail clippers. So that is one thing that I always like to do. I typically like to go for more of an oval shape, but there's so many different shapes that you can do to your nails. You can go for a coffin shape, you can go for square, round it really depends on your personal preference but this is really going to help keep the health of your nails and it's also going to keep your nails looking amazing one thing that you want to skip are nail hardeners so i feel like a lot of us think we need to use this when trying to grow out our nails but products like this can actually do more damage than good and can actually lead to your nails breaking so try to avoid products like that and try my natural remedies to really help strengthen your nails and grow them. Of course, when you have long nails, a lot of us like to wear a different color nail polish, but it is really important that you're always wearing a base coat and a top coat with your nails. So this is really going to help prevent your nails from peeling and also becoming weak. And when our nails are starting to peel, it's honestly such a bad habit for us to just keep peeling it and that really just damages the nails. I'm using the Essie base coat and as well as the top coat as you guys will later see. And I also went in with an Essie nail polish called GC Bridal Dresses More. This is literally my new favorite nail color. And guys, this nail color does not chip. I've been wearing this for well over a week and I still haven't had one chip in my nail, which is crazy to me because my nails are typically chipped after like day one or two. It's a problem. So I will link down the color if I can find it in the description box for you guys, but Honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend. It is just such a beautiful color, but it lasts, which is so amazing. But it's important to always make sure that when you are applying your nail polish, you go in first with that base coat, then you go in with your nail polish, and to finish it off, you put a top coat on. And this is really going to lock in your nail polish, and also it really is going to help seal everything in. But as well, the base coat's gonna give you a layer in between your nail polish, which is totally necessary. And as you can tell, this is how the nail color turned out and I think it looked so beautiful on and I am in love. That is all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if it was useful. Let me know if you guys try any of these out. Share it with your friends. Definitely try these tricks. They will help your nails to grow long and strong. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week. And make sure you guys have the bell on to be notified when I do upload every single week. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!